When you buy other drinks for your family, you're giving them chemicals. You're giving them junk. You're giving them garbage. You're putting a lot of garbage in their system. You know what? Their brain power is going to go down, and they're going to end up playing the software. That's right. That's what's going to happen. Excuse me. Can I get a tight one of Monty's head? Because I want to play a bongo with this. Come here closer to me. A bongo on Monty's head. Come here. Take camera two and take... There. Do you hear that? With the saw. Doesn't that sound nice? That's what he needs. A little rhythm. My rates are going up. I, I like that. <laughs> My rates are going up. Thanks, I Bob. like this. All right, very Thanks, good. Bob. All right. Shut up, Monty. All right, here. Here is your Snapple. Take a look at this. This is the greatest drink. Listen, I can't tell you, I mean, I can tell you to buy this stuff, but you got to try it. You got to taste this. This is made from the best stuff on earth. Their iced tea is real brewed. These are unbelievable flavors. I'm going to go shoot myself. <laughs> Yes, Saturday night. Welcome to the Howard Stern Show. And we are very excited, Robin, because, uh, well, Joe Piscopo's here. An old friend. Yeah, and we're not so excited about Joe being here. We're more excited about his girlfriend being here. <laughs> That's more exciting. Joe has something special planned. I don't know what it is. He wants to unveil his girlfriend. He oh, doesn't really? want to just bring her out. So let's bring out Joe Piscopo hmm. first and see what he has on his mind. Yeah. All right, Joe. Oh, yeah. There he is, Joe Piscopo. Oh, man. Oh, man. Stand up, big hey, man. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Oh. Hi, Robin. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. How you doing? How you doing? Very nice few people know you. this. We had to retake Joe's entrance because his collar wasn't turned up properly. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in that beautiful jacket. How you doing, hey, man? Hey, here's Joe Piscopo. You know, the show looks great. Yeah. I, I tell you, it was great. You guys are doing good. Hiya, Jackie. The all right, boys cut through all the there. BS. We want to see your girlfriend. I know. Yeah, don't <laughs> I mean, beat around the bush. Can we get her out here? Watch it. I'm really, really Wait a watch. second. I'm lucky I'm here tonight. You know? <laughs> I smell uh, steroids. <laughs> I smell steroids. I'm telling you right now. So no drugs. No, let me, let me talk to you about this. First of all, uh, of course, you've got a, a great career going. Comedy, films, television, all kinds of things. HBO special coming up that we'll but talk about. But he's stopping the movies. Saudi Arabia we're going He's stopping the movies. Yeah, he's, Why are you he's stopping giving the movies? up films. No, because, of, well, did you see the last one? Well, yeah. I mean, what? Oh, come mean? on, I didn't put the brakes on anything. Yeah, but why are you giving up film? No, no, I'm just waiting for the right project to come along. I got, if I told you the last one, I'm not going to embarrass the producers, the, the script I got. Did I tell you? I, I'm going to told you the worst script was worse than the last film so i gotta be real careful so i'm just taking my time yeah that's same with me that's why you oh. haven't seen me in a movie <laughs> <laughs> all these scripts are howard did you see dead heat it was the worst thing in the world come on joe, the best thing about this show is that joe agreed to bring his beautiful girlfriend now everybody knows this story same thing with Robin Williams. He married his babysitter. That's true. Right? But she was wait, a little older wait a than Joe. You made right. that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least she was older. Yeah. Me and Robin see each other. It's like, uh, uh, Joe, uh, before we go into the whole story, okay. the whole history of Joe Piscopo, because yes. it's great. Only in America will you become a big... If we could only tell this story on film. Oh, <laughs> now this would be a great movie. That's my movie. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Oh, hey. Joe yeah, becomes... Joe, yeah, you know, it's very difficult to become a big star, but he becomes a big star, and how are you going to unveil your girlfriend now for this big moment well you know what the thing is where i live uh, we go to close to new jersey and hang out in jersey and i can't believe how big you are i don't understand it but i mean it's like giant people time. love me they do and they always say they all say hi all the all the folks that we see all the time and they always go where's kimberly man where's kimberly howard talks about kimberly you guys are kimberly because so i thought if we this come girl, on now you found her when she can was can i explain it you make it sound like i went to an 11 year old said hey baby you, want some you met her when she was 14. 11. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, that's better. That's beautiful. That is such a beautiful story. I have no pride. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Only with Howard. Right, you, know? you met her when she was eleven. Here we uh -oh. go. And I met. A, I meet a lot of nice-looking eleven-year-olds. Yeah, what kind of line and, uh, do you lay on an eleven-year-old? Uh, sweetheart. No, it wasn't uh, like that, guys. Um, <laughs> it wasn't like that. First of all, Joe confessed they didn't tongue kiss till she was thirteen. Oh, Howard. <laughs> until she was Stop. thirteen. I'm telling you right Stop. now. Stop. Stop. Don't don't start all right, now. All right. All right. What happened was. Uh, uh, Kimberly was babysitting for Joey, and this is true, but it That's wasn't like. Son. But I never even thought twice about it until she was like, uh, a coach, at least well. 13. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. At what point <laughs> did you start looking at her as a woman? She was 18 years old. You lying I dog. Oh. You can't lie. Oh. Come here, I'm going to smack you in the head right now. I'm going to smack you because we want the truth. What point then did you. Then you don't mind making love to no. children. Can I tell you what saying? happened? I have to be honest with you. You, always... you were married to a woman, lovely woman, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and you, you disagreed, you didn't, you fell out of love, Something right? happened. Something happened, right? <laughs> what, what happened was the babysitter turned out to be cute. I feel like I'm in Iraq with Saddam Hussein, you know, like, this, okay, okay. But like, you were sitting home with your kid and your wife one day and you told him over the babysitter and you said, I'm a big star. Mm. 
No, it wasn't like that at all. It was, I saw her in the ice cream parlor working behind the counter. This is true. Yeah. This is honestly true. Right. And she was 18 at the time. Yeah. And, uh, no, yeah. really. And she was going, I said, oh my gosh, this girl, I said, Kimberly, it turned out to be beautiful. Yeah. And that was the first time I said, this girl's beautiful. Still friends. Are you going to unveil her? Still friends. When we went out, we went out to the improvisation, we went out to the comic strip, the clubs in town, and at the end of that night... But I thought she was your babysitter first. Uh, she was first. Yeah. But she I never thought, never thought twice about it. All right, it. unveil her. Unveil the girlfriend. Oh, unveil because her. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome her. Uh, oh, we go to commercial, commercial first? first? Oh, oh, stay tuned. We know stay how to build suspense Kimberly, I'm sorry. Or what? Oh, Kimberly, I'm sorry. now wait. <laughs> <laughs> you got to you got to display this. This is your prize. This is Joe's prize. Oh, no, I'm a lucky this is what guy. You get I'm an ugly lucky guy. That's what I mean. I'm mean. from Jersey. I lucked into this. Believe me. Wait till you see this. Don't move. I'm going to write one of those books. Everybody's going to be a comedian. This is better than this is better than stuttering John getting punched by Morton Downey. Nice. Do... All right, here. Hey, Larry Holmes on the show tonight. Larry Holmes. Classiest guy in the sport of boxing. Shut up, Joan. Just talk Classiest about Classiest guy. You want a Big Mac now, Howard? All right, hold this, one? Joe. Oh, yes. I can see you. Hold that. You really eat this stuff now. Now, let me tell you something. Not only do we eat this stuff, Robin, Robin, do you mind showing Joe what you've done with your body? Show him. You, she looks great. You want to see the Kimberly's new body? Wow, look at that. Spectacular. Humana, humana, humana. <laughs> <laughs> How did Robin Look at me, he's got the golden card. Just hold the card. The card, Let me tell you something yes, about it. Yes, it's 1-800-321-THIN. All right, Joe, calm down. Nutrisystem. Now, let me get this done, go, all right? Go, go. All right. <laughs> and a well, nice display to boot. <laughs> By the way, we're going to send this to uh, Joe's ex-wife, this whole display, because she can't afford food anymore, <laughs> thanks to Joe and these generous oh, settlements. On, on the contrary. All right. right. On, on the contrary. <laughs> Sure, let's do this thing, yeah. Nutrisystem Weight Loss Program is not just a diet. It is a crave-free meal plan. The guy with the saw is annoying me very much. <laughs> take the saw, take the saw, and smash it. For God. What are you playing back there, you mental guy? What are you playing, seriously? No, he's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. He's, he's a not a mental he's Over the rainbow. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You're very talented. Here. That's the same song he's been playing the whole show. No, I know. Uh, very, very good. Switching. It's a sad state of affairs that this television show is doing as well. I heard you beat, I heard you beat SNL give me last this, week. Give me this card. Wait, give me this card. SNL. Give me this card. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smell accurate. Come right, on, listen dude, to me. These are the bill parties. 1-800. One eight, one <laughs> Kimberly is standing on a pedestal. Oh, my baby. I can't right. wait there. to see her. Let me right. tell you something. She's going to leave me after this show. That hat is more talented. That hat. Hey, go try and play that saw. It's impossible. He's a very talented man. Is this, who, is this, this the next works, instrument being so played, well, My man? sister is so thin from Nutrisystem. Joe, do you have to blow dry your hair? While sorry, we're sorry. sitting here on Wait till you set. see his girlfriend. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Low-calorie entrees, including chicken, Mexican sauce with beef enchiladas, even lasagna. It's all great. It's called Nutrisystem. Great snacks, too. Pretzels and potato chips. The personal experiences are endless. My sister, Robin, all the people on our show have lost tremendous amounts of weight. Robin, you couldn't lose weight. That's right, Howard. You were stuck. You were in a slump. 1-800-321-THIN. They succeed where diets fail you. I could work out with this stuff? You could work out. You could do that? Yeah, yeah, this is steroid. Steroid candy. <laughs> you get real big. Yeah, real big. <laughs> Joe Piscopo just announced that he's very, very jealous because the saw guy hangs out with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Unbelievably so. You walked over to do that joke. Oh. Joe, you walked hey, all the way over there to do that joke. Was it really worth it? We're about to meet Joe's girlfriend. Joe Piscopo is here. On the Joe, Howard Stern Show. Joe did a Hey, where's favorite. Joe Franklin? Let me say something, in a... Joe. The steroids make you very hyper. Oh, yeah, he's very Hoppy. hyper. Hyper, that's it. It's when I get on the show, it's, it's a defense mechanism with you Joe guys. Wa Joe is too embarrassed <laughs> to say this himself. He's oh. very upset that Eddie Murphy has not called him in a couple of years. He used to be Eddie Murphy's best, best friend. Best friend, he I was Eddie's pal. And, and the Joe show. said he has exclusive tape he brought to our show of Eddie oh, Murphy no. as a child. Not true. Oh. And, not true. Uh, let me show you where it is. Not true. I have nothing Take to do with what's going to happen. Let me roll the tape. Take a look. That's Eddie. Oh my there he goodness! Is doing shtick at a very young age. 